Lieutenant Galloway with the Ufala Fire and Rescue for the weekly reports of November the 21st through November the 25th. Uh, as of this day, we have a total of 14 calls. We have seven EMS calls, one vehicle accident with injuries, one smoke odor removal, three public service calls, one false alarm, and one burn permit approved. Uh, we've been pretty easy, pretty steady. Uh, we kind of very grateful for that, uh, especially with all the cold weather that's been coming through. Once again, we'd like to encourage everyone to please use a lot of safety and good common sense when using heating uh, elements for this time of year. We know that this uh, last night was pretty cold. Tonight's supposed to be just as cold. Uh, as far as wrapping pipes and stuff and using some of those electrical elements to do, uh, keep pipes warm, be sure to double check them. Make sure they're in good operating order. Also, any electric heaters, uh, furnace systems. Uh, if you live in an apartment complex, I'm pretty sure that the managers there will be glad to come by and take a look at any of your uh, heating elements if need be. Also, Thursday is going to be Thanksgiving. We know everybody wants to start doing some kind of cooking. Our biggest thing that I've seen in our trends here uh, in Eufaula and in other cities is fires occurring during cooking. Uh, people get caught up in the moment, uh, different things going on, different things happening in the house, uh, and people are becoming bad about walking off from stuff cooking on the stove tops, uh, cooking in the ovens, and this then occurs and brings about a fire. Uh, so please, over this holiday, be thankful for each other and be thankful for the food and keep a good close eye on it. Uh, make sure when you're cooking to stay in the kitchen with it uh, until it's completed. Make sure all your cooking uh, um, elements and everything are turned off. Uh, try also to keep a check on your elderly uh, in, in the area. We know that some people have in the past utilized uh, cooking uh, elements such as stoves and ovens to try and keep the house warm. Uh, this is not a good idea, so please check on those people. Uh, make contact with some local charities and churches that could possibly help out as far as providing those individuals with either heat or either a place to stay during these cold weather times. So other than that, just please use good caution with your cookers uh, and have a good Thanksgiving and hope to see everyone Monday. It was the craziest thing. See, my wife's a flincher. <gasps> it's okay. The one time I could have used a heads up, I... Bam. I was putting on lipstick. The good news is, Alpha has the largest customer service team in Alabama. So you'll be dealing with people here, not all over the country. <gasps> oh, sorry. For a plan built just for you, contact Keith Bryan in Eufaula. Got a question for right. you. With it coming up to the holiday season and Christmas trees going to go up, what's some good safety precautions to take? If you use a live tree, keep it watered uh, on a daily, daily basis. Uh, I always tell everyone to check it before you go to work. If it's not full to the top, fill it to the top. Check it before you go to bed. Uh, if you're using any kind of lights, nowadays most people use the, the new LED lighting. Uh, now granted the bulb does not get hot like the older fashioned bulbs did, so uh, fire from the bulb itself is not quite that big of a problem anymore. But people store those and during storage they get pinched and cramped and cut. So be sure to check the wiring. Uh, even on the trees that come pre-lit, it's still nothing more than a wire that goes up the branch and is hidden real well, real well by the manufacturer. Please check those as you put those trees up. Uh, any other type of decorations such as candles. Uh, we have a lot of people who like doing the potpourri scent uh, candles and mechanisms. Please keep a good close eye on those. Anything that gets warm can cause a fire. That's the best way to look at it. So keep a check on that. Uh, observe any electrical cords. Do not overload an electrical outlet. It has two receptacles for a reason. <laughs> so put two plugs in it only. Uh, that's what we try and tell everyone. So uh, just try and use caution with that and uh, also with building fires and uh, stuff near or placing your Christmas tree near your fireplace. 
use extreme caution with that, with your presence, how you place them around, so that those items don't get real warm and get hot and begin to burn. So, uh, But we're planning on having to try and do a, a little education class sometime soon, uh, and we're going to try and get that done one morning during prep as far as some actual more specific things that we can hand out to you to put into paper and on TV for some different safety items during the Christmas season. So we have some of that coming for you. All right. Kevin invented the dollar store this morning? Uh, not that I'm aware of at this point in time. I didn't see it when it pulled up, uh, and that was probably right before I came on shift, so I'll, I'll be sure to find out for sure uh, and let you know on that. So. Change the way you think about tires with a tire that outperforms the rest. Stop short and last longer. Save fuel. Get it with a Michelin tire from Herndon Tire Company. Outperforming for your business since 1964. Herndon Tire Company offers you the best tires, Michelin, and the best service. Alignments, brake repairs, struts, oil changes, custom exhaust, and nitrogen for your tires. For a safe, smooth ride, see them today. Herndon Tire Company, 810 South Eufaula Avenue, Eufaula. Thank you, Brown. This is our police report for the period of November 21st through November 25th. During that time period, we had two misdemeanor arrests, one for possession of drug paraphernalia and one for contempt of court, and we investigated a total of seven accidents. Our incident offense reports include theft of property first that occurred on Russell Avenue. That was about a blue Ford Crown Victoria vehicle. We had a theft of property first on Fairlane Drive. Um, the gentleman uh, saw a woman get out of her car and rushed her and took her purse. She had $100 cash in it, among some other items. We had an harassment on Fairlane Drive. We had another harassment on Stevens Avenue. We had a theft of property third that occurred on Doreen Drive. We had a domestic violence third degree that occurred on Gamage Road and that involved a boyfriend and girlfriend. And uh, possession of drug paraphernalia and possession of a controlled substance that occurred in Fall Avenue at Washington Street. Change the way you think about tires with a tire that outperforms the rest. Stop short and last longer. Save fuel. Get it with a Michelin tire from Herndon Tire Company. Outperforming for your business since 1964. Herndon Tire Company offers you the best tires, Michelin, and the best service. Alignments, brake repairs, struts, oil changes, custom exhaust, and nitrogen for your tires. For a safe, smooth ride, see them today. Herndon Tire Company, 810 South Eufaula Avenue, Eufaula. On our arrest reports, we had the arrest of Lori Glover Williams for the possession of drug paraphernalia and possession of controlled substance. And we had the arrest of Carrington Dwayne Edmonds that was uh, on contempt of court. And that's all we got this morning. On the purse that was taken, what area of town was that in, she's saying? Let me look again. I think it was uh, Fairlane Drive. Fairlane Drive, I think it was. Yeah. Now, was that person arrested or caught at the scene? No, that person was not caught. Uh, not yet, anyway. Yeah. Lady said she was getting out of her car and a guy approached her. Was she at a business there during now? Or? No, I think it was just a residence of the family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was her residence. Mm -hmm. She was getting out of business. Is that a person. carjacking? I guess not. They don't take the car. No, they just called it a theft of property because he took the, took the cash or took, grabbed a purse, should I say. Yeah. She had some cash. And apparently there was no weapons involved because of the char of no charge on that. Nope. Well, okay. I overpowered the lady. She's 75, so. Yeah. Bugs. Uh, exactly. That's pretty much it. Sure, the car is by name is Lucky, and the reason that calls me Lucky is cause I got all of this money. And the reason I got all of this money is because I sells me gold on Dale Road. Sell your gold on Dale Road. Sell your gold on Dale Road. Mr. Pond buys gold on Dale Road. Mr. Pond buys gold on Dale Road. Sell your gold on Dale Road. Sell your gold on Dale Road.